Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is Meek, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe, like it, give it a like. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to sample an arcade using the generator kits option. I also did a video of how to chop and flip samples in arcade using the couple custom kits. So go ahead and check that out and check out all of my arcade videos by output. I have a bunch and yeah, so I'm here to educate the world about how to use outputs arcade so go ahead and check those out if you finish this one okay so let's get started so let's open up logic pro x all right and you can do this in any daw okay i usually do this in machine but i like to teach in logic pro x okay so are we gonna we're gonna go to empty projects now if this window doesn't come up when you open up logic pro x check out my video about how to bring up the startup window in logic pro x when you open up logic pro x okay i got videos of everything you need all the problems you're running into Please subscribe, all right, give me a part of the algorithms. Okay, so we're gonna choose empty project and I'm gonna choose arcade. It was the last thing I used, so I don't have to go find it. But if you need to find it, it's in the AU Instruments, arcade, boom, yeah, create. Okay, so the first things first you wanna do, um, before you even bring your sample in, you wanna set your project to the tempo. So I know what song I wanna sample, so I went ahead and Googled the song that I want to use and I googled song BPM and key and, and song BPM.com you know gave me that information so the key is E the tempo is 140 all right so I'm gonna set this to 140 okay and I'm gonna bring my song in okay don't ignore it okay boom so now my song is in a BPM of now my project is now my project had the same BPM as the song, okay? So I don't have to worry about it being weird. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is just chop the part of the song that you wanna sample, okay? I just chopped the first part of this song of Escapes, Who Can I Run To? I cut out the end part of the song because I don't really want the chorus or the end part. And you do not want to drag this whole file in a generator kit because it will be chaos because it only spreads your sample across two octaves. You won't be able to get a, a good starting point, you know, when you do that. So just cut out the part of the song that you already want. So then I'm gonna double click it. I'm gonna go to convert and I'm gonna go to convert and I'm gonna go to convert to new audio files. XK220. All right, so then I'm gonna bring up arcade. And then I'm gonna to go to your stuff, your stuff, your samples. And then I'm gonna drag that in. Okay, this bill is about to go crazy. Drag that in there. So we dragged our sample in and Arcade, it reads the BPM. As you can see, it got it wrong this time. But I've drunk this, I drugged this same song in before at 140. I've been practicing over and over before I do tutorials. Um, but yeah, so it's it's at 86 and it's supposed to um have the BPM is I mean the song key as well here. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So that's why I said you have to know it yourself. Okay. Click on this, we're gonna go to generate kit. And it's gonna slice our audio up. So here we are in the kit generator uh, window view. Now this save and play, first of all, if yours don't say save and play, it's because it's probably the wrong file. If it says like negative 24 um, on a WAV file, like something like this. Um, so if it, if it says something like this, your file looks like that, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to use it. It's not gonna say save and play up here. If, is it, if it's an AIF file, I think that's what it's called, it won't um you won't be able to save and play it so you want to make sure it's either an mp3 or a wave that's not you know the volume is not tampered with and you know and that information isn't on your wave file okay so be mindful of that we're in the kid generator menu the first thing you want to do is go to these three dots that's in the sample slicing area and you can adjust your bpm so i'm gonna just go ahead and put in i can put in 70 or 140 I'm gonna put in 140 and I'm gonna see if I wanna change it. You can also just double click on it and import the BPM manually. All right, and I changed it and then I can put it in E major if I wanted to put it in the correct key. I'll put E major here and then here I'm gonna change it to A flat. Now, let me.
me show you what I was talking about, how it won't stretch your sample across all of the keys, which would be dope. I hope they bring that in the future. But it only stretches your sample from C2 to C4, okay? That's technically just two octaves, all right? It doesn't um, play, you know, stretch them across the whole keyboard, which would be very dope and make it more spot on for getting sample uh, chops. But yeah, so this is the loop keyboard and you get to it by pressing a pitch and it just shows you which um, keys you're triggering. So the sample slicing is just how you choose different sample modes. So you got the standard and you can just choose which one you like stretched, kind of stretches your samples out and it also edits them. <laughs> stretches them out shift shifts them um, up and down it can shift them reverse pendulum style and you want to um, go through each of the modes to pick like which style you want and with these black keys these black keys can just uh, like sort of preview them as well with your slice molds to see what you can do with it and if you want to keep that slice mold. So say if I press this black arrow here, which is not a reverse with where the arrowheads are. These are reverse, but these are about timing. Speeds up, slows down. So I can slow it down. Right, and you also have these twisty things, which are really cool. So give it a cool effect uh, along with the shifted slice mode. All right, you can definitely get some chops that's like nobody else's. It don't matter how, how many people in the sample this song, you can do something different with it. All right, and these uh, yellow, you know, repeaters. They repeat your song and, you know, just different timings, like 1 8th, 1 16th, 1 But they only shift like the first, like literally, not even the first half of the loop, like the first one fourth of the loop. All right, so shift it. My personal one uh, that I like is chopped. If you want like a more traditional chopping style, uh, you you should go with chopped. All right, I'm just going through my little list on my iPad. I love my iPad. Another important thing to note, since we're going to be using chopped today, because you're with me, the full loop option is probably the best thing because it samples the whole entire part of the chop that you drug in. You can also mess that one up too with the different um, black key effects. <laughs> So yeah, you can just get real creative. And with the full loop option, that's something to use if you just want a straight four bar loop. Four bar loop, excuse me. This wheel here is given bop it, okay? This is the effects presets wheel. And you can choose different effects presets and it'll change the overall sound of the kit and it'll give it, um, each kit has a different set of micro macros, okay? So you can preview those as well, okay? This is the window where you just kind of shop for a sound. Once you choose your effects preset, you can also turn this off. You don't have to use it, anything at all, okay? You don't have to use an effects preset, you can turn it off, yes, yeah, that. So once you choose your effects preset, once you hit save and play, you cannot go back and edit it, okay? But you can change the amount of effect in each macro. You can always change those when you get to the other screen. And you can also um, change the key when you get to the other, sh other screen, okay? But for the most part, everything is locked in. So you wanna make sure you're very much decided on what you like before you save and play. So I'm gonna hit save and play. So I'm gonna raise the octave here. You can um, swap the samples around if you wanna sample just like a sequence of like, so you can swap these around. All right, you do that by holding it down and dragging it to where you want it. You can change the tuning of an individual chop. I can uh, tune it down to 12. I 
around like that. So I'm going to be chop. I'm just going to make a loop with this. Now, if you press the hold, we can we can start editing it in the sample edit window. You get to the sample edit window by pressing tweak, and it'll take you to the sample edit window. So I'm going to press hold, and I'm just going to press play. Now, when you press hold, it constantly plays the loop over and over. Okay. But that doesn't mean it's looping it is just holding it for you so you can edit it i can change the speed of this loop i can change it here i'm gonna put it back on you can also change the speed of the overall kit here you can uh make it go faster or half the speed so get real creative here all right so let me go back to this one so you can change the speed you can reverse it if you wanted to Play it. Right. so the pendulum is cool the pendulum is cool because it's like reverse and a board and a all in one Okay, so that's why I like the pendulum option. Back to zero, because I'm making a four bar loop and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let me turn off the hole. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm gonna get my loop. Now, the thing in here is you have to like kind of edit it. Edit that. I'm gonna show you how you can get the perfect, the perfect loop. You would have to go to the sample wave, okay? And you have to go to the, here to this white box. You have to hover over it, and then you have to drag it down, all right? And then it zooms in, okay? And I'm gonna scroll over to the right to get a cool view, and I'm gonna scroll down some more so I can get some more zoom. Scroll back over. All right, so here it is. So let's play our loop and let's try to get a perfect four bar. You wanna drag the marker over? So what I did is I just drug the marker from where it was, like it was like here or something like that. And I just drug it and I just listened out to it, okay? And you can get a perfect four bar like that, okay? Now say if I wanted to change. Say if I wanted to change the filtering for if I wanted this filter on all of them, I could just um, add the filter to all of them by grouping them together, holding down command, tap all the keys that I want to add the filter to. All right. Then I could just go to the frequency for the, you know, I could go to the frequency. I could double click that, apply to select the keys. And I can double click this and apply to select the keys. And now it's on all of them. Okay. All right, boom. So all I have to do is just turn them, turn on the filter for all of them. Like actually later turn it on and it's on for all of them. Just have to turn it on, turn it on. And you can group and you can add any effects to all of them by doing that same thing. Okay. So one important thing to note about zoom in window is that if you want to get real meticulous, you can go to this grid option here and where you see the one fourth you can um apply uh just different uh, ratios to get a more specific transient markers you can do it like that you can zoom in like that zoom in scroll down to zoom in scroll up to zoom out and you can get more on a, a more on a mark if you wanted to okay so remember that just go to the mixer all right and then on the bus which all of our samples are routed to because it does that individually like one and two is routed the reverb and the tonality they got on the effect sense for one for the effect sense they got reverb for bus two they have some tonality all right so on the tone they got chorus and the distortion box you can change that if you want by just clicking on any of these effects drop down menu and you can change 
got some delay. You can also go back, turn up fix it down. All right, okay. And on a master, you can change what's on a master too if you want to. All right. You can change that to a chorus, lo fi. Change that to equalizer. You know, you can just get, you could just make it your own, all right? And even though in the generating kit window, you chose the effects preset with already macros set up, you can change them here. Now, it does affect the macros when you remove and delete because the effects on the master chain and um, on the buses, they are routed to the macros. So, so say if we turned off the chorus, you see it says send one of chorus or macro three, if you turn off the chorus on send two, or let's say you change it. Go to the macros, it's gonna be going here. So you gotta think about that too. But if you want to, you can send these to the macros. So you can send the clipping to macro three for the color. Okay, and then you can go here, and you can see it here, all right? And you can edit that there, turn on the drawing width, so it can be less distortion in that macro, all right? I'm going to bring up the piano roll menu. All right, so I'm going to... And I'm, I'm just gonna do a full the full loop. You can definitely just go ahead and bounce this and double click that. Go to bounce and join, bounce in place. So yeah, that is it. That's how you can chop up samples in arcade. You know what I mean? So check out my other videos on arcade. Thank you for watching.